Okay, okay! What did you attack me with? The rod of Lisa. Why? Where's all my stuff? This is why nobody likes you. Dude! <laughs> he took the rod of Lisa! He took it! What would you do if I just logged off? <laughs> You're mad you can't get the scrap. You get back on the server right now! Welcome back to another Scrabble Hardcore episode. I'm Conehead, also known as Cracking Kidhead. No, seriously, guys, look at this traffic cone. I had this in one of my chests, and then when I held shift. It says it can block cars and blah, blah, blah. And it could also be used as a hat. I had no idea about that, but that's so cool. The last episode was pretty insane. We got ourselves the best item in the game, uh, bar none. At least in my opinion, because this can get you any item in the game. It's a magic fishing rod that can be used to reel in items and pick pockets. Self Cody's got the one of the other best items in the game, and I just come on over to him. I just go boop, and then pull it back in, and I could possibly steal his item. This item is literally the only way to combat some of the armor sets in the game, some of the weapons in the game. It allows us to all be on a level playing field where you can still die no matter what. Okay, this is a very important item, and we got it for the first time in history. Cracking Kid has the rod of Lisa! Now, we also did some boss killing, and I got this entire expanded inventory filled up with items last episode. Well, guess what? I cleaned it all out. And how did I do that without overflowing all my chests? And oh my gosh, why are these chests so empty? Well, let me explain something to you. We have figured out a way to add custom EMC values. For those of you who don't know, a, an item can have an EMC value like this nether quartz. It's 256 each. Or for the stack of 27, it's 6,912 EMC. And unfortunately, when we first added the mod, there was like no way to really add custom ones. There was a way, but it was broken and we couldn't figure it out. Well, now we have fixed it. We can have custom values for modded items in the equivalent exchange mod. Project E, baby. It's back. So we added in some values for different items. And I'm just going to quickly like scroll through it. Like all the Mind Watch tokens, we put 10,000 on it. I have a total of 24,000 EMC right now. All these AOA guns, I'm putting them at 1,000. If there's one that's super overpowered, we can change it later. It's just a quick little command to change the values of these things. So, yeah, I spent a good amount of time adding some EMC value, um, trying to balance it all. And for big ticket items, that's the thing. Cody and I have to agree on an EMC value. Well, Blooper too, because he's part of the server now as well. So, like, say this Sword of the Wyvern. I wanted to add an EMC value. I'd have to, like, suggest one in our Discord chat, and then we'd all discuss it. We'd say yes, no, uh, make it a little higher, make it a little lower, until we came up with something we all agreed upon. Stuff like, you know, ores and all that, we can kind of do ourselves without having to go to them. We just have to make sure it's balanced. So I haven't really gotten into the ores or gems or nuggets or things like that, but that is on the list of things to do. However, we did go through like some of the building blocks. All the slabs in the game have an EMC value of 10. This way, when we get a slab, we can learn the recipe in here because in order to use it, you still have to have one of them that you burn first. We wanted to be able to pretty much build infinitely with building blocks and slabs and stairs and fences, stuff like that. So that's why they have a low value. But, uh, you know, things like... Oh, the do party scroll. Yeah, that's going to be 500,000 EMC to get a single do party scroll. And these random item scrolls. Let me just show you how this works. So basically, if I shift click, boom, it'll take out a stack of that item. And you can see my EMC value down on the left corner. It's going down each time I do this. Now, oh, okay. I went a little too crazy there. I spent all my EMC value. It's worth this many random item scrolls. These things are actually really cool. You basically click it and you get a random item. 
in the game. <laughs> what is my luck? Oh my gosh, I did not think I could get any more lucky than last episode, guys. This is a one block maker. You know what a one block is? It's that thing in Cody's base that is super overpowered that allowed me to get all those infinity gems, infinity armor pieces. Okay, it, it's basically like the sky block tool. So you break the block and then a new one spawns in. It's sometimes it's a dungeon chest with scrolls and with the chance to have infinity armor pieces, which I think got patched. But I, I can't believe I did one random item scroll and I got that. Let's do one more. We got Infernal Chalice. So this is kind of like, you know, gambling. We just got Flash's boots, a map. Okay, I, I really, I spent 100,000 EMC on a stupid potato. Oh my gosh, I got a pig soul. Come on, I want to get one more good thing. No, okay, I gotta, I gotta stop. I'm gonna get too addicted to this. This this could be a dangerous thing right here, my friends. So the cool part about this is, now that I took out all those random item scrolls, I can just put them back in and it will restore my EMC. So I'm very excited to have this, guys. This is going to change the game tremendously. I'm gonna have to organize all this stuff after. And to top it off, I made myself a second transmutation table. This one I made to put all the way at the mob grinder. That way I don't have to worry about moving all the items from over here, bring them back to my house, and then put them inside the transmutation table. This just simplifies everything. I really should just go ahead and bite the bullet and take the time to make the transmutation tablet because that one's portable. And I just really haven't done that yet. All I need is dark matter blocks and then stone. And a default recipe scroll, of course. But then I can make the tablet. I'll have to keep that in mind. I don't think I have a dark matter block. I'll have to check. But that's really the only item that is slowing us down at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and put this thing right there. Now, the precaution tokens. So we were setting the value at tokens at... 100 EMC. So let me show you guys how we actually can do this. So you just go pr slash project E space set EMC and it's the item you're holding in your hotbar. So project E set EMC 100 and then after you change something you don't even have to reload the game. You just type in project E reload EMC and it should update the data and now when we hover over it, it says 6,400 uh, for a stack or 100 EMC each, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Okay, I'm going to have to do the same thing with the jungle thorns here. So basically any mob drop, we got that okay to just, if it's a random mob drop or something, just set it to 100. And if it we find out it's overpowered later, it takes two seconds to change the values. But if I'm getting this many of these... uh jungle thorns i don't think they're going to be super overpowered <laughs> look at this <laughs> oh my gosh dude i love these tiny mob farms they are so good to me <laughs> they're just a very good passive way to get all sorts of random stuff and now it's a passive way to get emc value so i pretty much grabbed everything that was on the floor now and what i should look into is if there's a way that I can pipe the items coming out of the uh, tiny mob farm directly into the transmutation ta uh, table if they have an EMC value. That would be interesting. I I'm not sure if that's possible or not. And I did um, give EMC value to those skill crystals. They had to be kind of expensive because once we unlock a lot of those skills, you'll be able to level them up really fast with unlimited uh, crystals. So that's why, like, the large one's 100,000. Whoa. Color cannon. What is this? It consumes energy, so we can actually use this one. Most of these take, like, a bullet or something that you can't use. Oh. All right, I should have enough energy right now. Locked and loaded. All right, so let's head back to our base for a minute because I got a little bit of unfinished business to take care of. And I'm talking about this 
stupid crystal inside of my base. So, actually, let's power ourselves up even more. And I have to have my hands empty. Someone suggested that I should try picking it up with the carry-on mod. So, what we're going to have to do first is open up the door. Can't accidentally hit this thing. Okay, can we... Oh, I don't think I can actually lift this item. Crap. Oh, Kraken. Uh, uh, oh my gosh! Okay, what? that's a big zombie. No, he just destroyed my base! You idiot! Blooper, did you do this? I didn't do anything. What's going on here? This little, this big guy. Okay, he just came over to my base. It's one of those mutant zombies, ain't it? Uh, he, he basically destroyed my entire base. <laughs> would you like me to kill him for you? I, I could just kill him like that. Yeah, I, I think I killed him. What do you mean you could kill him like that? Blooper, you look... Sexy? Beautiful? Strong. Overpowered? What? <laughs> Holy crap, I can't believe I'm a mutant zombie. I got him. By the way, that might have been a boss kill. Oh, yeah. Where did you Fine. get full overloaded? And is it charged or uncharged? Fully charged. And the infinity sword, or the sword of the cosmos. Dude, okay, what is your secret, Josh? Uh, I can't tell. Snow. <laughs> it's snow. Snow. Whoa, hey, buddy, watch out. Watch out with that. Watch out. You want to get one tap with the sword? Because I want. I will one tap you. You. You don't even know how to one tap, Josh. Yeah, you want to put that to the test? You want to end your series right here? No, no, no. Why isn't this fishing rod working, first of all? That's rod of Lisa. One. It's not just a fishing rod. Okay, it's not working. How do you use it? Let me go back to my base and get my own. Wait, you made a base? Yeah, I've always had a base. What? Yeah, you want to see it? I thought you were just kind of a drifter. Nah, I was. I was. It's just starting. I just got everything put together, but we, we start somewhere. What is this, a course? You're not luring me into the deep wilderness, are you? Okay, no, I actually wouldn't pass it. Not going to lie to you. It's right here. <laughs> you had an actual base. <laughs> no, no, come inside, come inside. Come inside. Dude, this is trash. It's what I got. And then you just come down here. Oh, my. This hurts my eyes. Why does it hurt? Okay, th this is unfinished. But this is my like little secret area that I cannot let you in. Okay, well I thought it was just the top, so I, I'm a little bit more impressed now. Yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. I got secret stuff in here. I got secret stuff. You can't even open your top row of chests. But you like my uh, collection? And remember, I had the sword of cosmos out, so if you try to touch it, you're uh, dead. What is that? Touch it? You want to find out? What <laughs> is wanna... it? What is, is that? Is that what I think it is? That is definitely what you think it is. It's the Greg of the Mutity, and I can get you one. Yo, yo, chill, why are you doing that, dude? You think you're stupid? You're stupid or something, bro. I, I can't <laughs> get an item from you, though. I don't even know how this thing works. Did you just lock me in here? Blue Bear, all right, I'm a little concerned. I did not think you had this much to... Okay, most of these chests are empty. Okay, okay! What did you attack me with? The Rod of Lisa. Why? Where's all my stuff? No! Okay, That's so what you did. <laughs> yo, yo. Blooper! <laughs> Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Josh, come inside, on. Inside, come inside. on, stop, get stop flying, stop flying, stop flying, dude. Okay, get inside. Drop the rod of Lisa. Drop the rod of I'm Lisa. I'm not dropping the rod of Lisa! Then I'm flying away. I'm flying away. You could be left to fend Josh, yourself. come on. That was my only charge. That's my only charge armor. That's my only charge armor. That's my only charge armor. All right, throw it out. Th throw the rod of Lisa. No, I, I need it. <laughs> why? <laughs> this is why nobody likes you. Dude, okay, tell me how it works. <laughs> you just exposed my scramble belt. Dude! <laughs> he took the rod of Lisa! He took it! What would you do if I just logged off? I'd probably cry myself to sleep, okay? Josh, I'd probably quit the surf. What was that? Yeah, <laughs> you... <laughs> oh wow, this is fun. <laughs> this is not funny. This is not. This is not funny, dude. Oh, what are you gonna do against this guy over here? He's a, he's attacking you. Josh, I don't have any armor. The only thing oh, yeah. protecting me right now is my injection, 
And the only reason you don't have that is because you can't actually rot a lease of that thing out. What's that belt? It's the scrambling belt. The, the winner of Scramble Crab gets this. Why? God, you just <laughs> You can't! Okay, okay, listen. We're gonna work this out, alright? You're gonna listen. You're gonna work for me now, alright? Yo, you wouldn't dare. Y you can't kill me. I'm invincible. Alright, alright. Seriously, you just cough up the stuff. I'll act like this never happened. I won't hold it against you. Alright, there you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you never learn. <laughs> you never learn. Okay. Um. Well, you're lucky. I don't see any lava pits in the near vicinity. Oh, I don't <laughs> like those. Josh, come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> dude, this is co okay. What can I make you do? I know your mom. You are, you, you are my mom, bro. Like. Wait, stop! You're even taking my <laughs> adder's fork! You're mad you can't get the scram- You get back on the server right now! Goodbye! Josh, this is serious. Josh! Josh! He just left Discord! He just left Discord! I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot, idiot, idiot. I don't know what I'm gonna do. 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 He took everything. Let's go back to my base. What do I even have? Oh, and it got just. I don't have an extra pair of leggings. Oh no, I do have a pair of leggings. Okay, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I, I guys, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. We're at my mob farm to congratulate Phoebe Cone on being the fan of the day for today's episode. If you want to be the next fan of the day, comment down below what you would do to Baby Blooper to get the stuff back. And also type in hashtag betrayed. Guys, I need advice and I need it now. Bad. Bad.